Scale the mountain. Retrieve Grogar's bell. Together! I drew up a detailed plan with several visual aids to show how we can... ditch each other and do it alone. Maybe when I'm waiting for them at the top, then they'll appreciate me. If anything on this mountain is scarier than I. <laughs> Just a poor lost pony looking for help. Oh, don't fret, little filly. Old Rusty Bucket here at your service. I'm so glad I found you. I need help getting to the top of the mountain. Uh, no can do, ma'am. Why not? Shh, not so loud. This here's avalanche territory. I'm the guardian of this here mountain. It's my job to keep ponies from heading up. Nothing at the top but dangerous snow, dangerous ice, and dangerous wind. Basically, it's dangerous. It must get lonely all by yourself. Maybe I could be your friend? Oh, I'd love a friend. So now that we are friends, you could help me up the mountain. Hmm, uh, a real friend wouldn't ask me to do something I'm not supposed to do. Says so right here in the Journal of Friendship, written by Twilight Sparkle and her friends. Are you kidding me? Shh. I didn't want to be friends anyway. Oh. There. No, not that way, neither. Now that we're leaving, we don't see a need for the holiday any longer. Now that you're... My sister and I have decided the time for us to retire is upon us. You and your friends have proven you are ready to lead Equestria. So let this be the last Summer Sun celebration as Equestria leaves behind the old to embrace the new. My goodness! How are you feeling about all this? Something like this could definitely send you into full freaky outy mode. I'm actually fine. But if this is going to be the last Summer Sun celebration, I want to make sure it's the best celebration ever. Please don't give us more work. Please don't give us more work. Please don't give us more work. So even though everything was done, I thought of a few last minute changes I could use your help with. Ah, I knew it. Oh, the end of a beloved holiday? Last minute changes to a celebration? That sounds positively chaotic. What are you doing here? I've known Celestia and Luna longer than any of you. I terrorized them, they turned me into stone. 
If this is the last Summer Sun situation, I simply can't miss it. Well, I see I've arrived just in time for the... Twilight gives her friends an impossibly long and overly detailed list predicament. I guess Sun Draconiquis isn't the know-it-all he thinks he is. This is it? What? We were kind of with Discord on this one. No more crazy lists. No more freaking out. With your help, I know we've got this. Oh, character growth is so boring. Do I at least get my own note card? There. Now I need to go rewrite my speech, but if you all look at your cards, you'll see... Can't talk now. Have so much to get done before sunrise. Why are so many ponies up in the middle of the night? It's that silly sun holiday. How many holidays do you ponies have? No matter, getting into the castle won't be a problem. Are you sure about that? Oh, those are new. But even so... Transfer! Have to head inside. Open up. Right, of course. <laughs> uh, do yours get glitchy too? More medallions, more problems, am I right? They've increased security into the castle. This is going to be more challenging than I thought. Please. Time is of the essence. Let's go team! We need to know what we're doing before we go and do it. Pinky, you and I are giving Brayburn and the Appaloosan Pony some adjustments to the menu. Fluttershy and I are meeting the Pegasi from Cloudsdale to give them changes to the weather. Spike, we're going to update the Flaming Sky Firework Unicorn Troop with Twilight's new vision. And I'm supposed to make sure Discord doesn't do anything Discordy? Well, that's annoyingly specific. Increased security on a crowded holiday with Twilight and her friends bumbling around? This is impossible. Oh, no. This is perfect. We need a distraction, and those ridiculous ponies just gave it to us. Now, do exactly as I tell you. Understand. For as long as we've known each other, Spike has never turned down an opportunity to join me here. It's his favorite place. Ideally, you catch the gems, dear. And for a trip to the post office of all places. Maybe you should move closer. And why would Spike need to go to the post office at all? He sends mail by breathing. Breathing, darling. Birth mail. Honestly, Applejack, if you're going to fill in, you could make an attempt to hold the basket the way Spike would. And how's that? Well, for one thing, Spike knows how to keep things quiet so as not to waken the bats. And he usually pulls me closely so no gem ever touches the ground. <gasps> Rarity, Spike's been following you closely since he got to Ponyville. And in case you hadn't noticed, um, hi, Rarity. What's up? <gasps> Besides my mane? Well, that is a question for Spike. Oh, well, Spike isn't here. I think he's at the post office. What is it with Spike in the post office? Harry, what's going on? Spike declined my invitation to the gem cave, and I intend to find out why. Hmm, that doesn't sound like Spike. Did you two have some sort of fight? A fight? Goodness, Twilight, what an Equestria would we fight about? I've had arguments with friends before, and they can put a real strain on friendships. Well, 
Certainly. But I think I'd remember if we had an argument. Maybe you didn't realize it? Do you think you could have done something that unintentionally hurt his feelings? What if I didn't realize what I did? How would I know what I have done when I did it? I wonder if that's it. It certainly would explain his behavior. I must apologize! For what? Oh, pfft, that's hardly the point. <gasps> Poor Spikey Wikey! Let's go for a grand gesture! Okay, good talk. Uh -huh. Griffins worked at the Ponyville Post Office? Oh, <laughs> no, I don't work here exactly. I'm the official mail carrier of Griffinstone. Gabby Griffin, nice to meet ya. <sighs> yes, well, uh, these things aren't for sending. They're for apologizing to Spike. Oh, Spike was just here. He went to go make us a... That's perfect. It'll give me a chance to practice. Uh, you stand there and tell me if I hit the right apologetic notes. What are you apologizing for? Darling, I don't see why that matters. And that is why I simply cannot bear the thought of having hurt you. And even though I don't know what it is that I did, I want you to know that it doesn't matter. Because I am prepared to do anything to make it right. And see. Sorry, dear. I said that sure sounds genuine. Hey, Kate Yearling is signing all her books at the bookstore today. We can warn her about what's going on. Don't you think you should read Martingale's book first? Just to hear both sides of the story? Uh, why? The only true thing in that pack of lies is that Daring Do is real. There's also a lot of insight into Dr. Caballeron's life choices. Did you know he's actually a history professor and amateur bird watcher? Are you serious right now? A random writer trashes our friend and exposes her secret, and you want to talk about birds? Also spider cruelty. What? You have to admit, Daring Do wrecks a lot of spider webs in her adventures. In order to save precious artifacts from the bad guy who you seem to have forgotten is Dr. Cavaleron! Are you sure you read the same series I did? Well, at least A.K. Yearling's true fans know Martingale's book is bogus. I'm not sure those are all fans. Why didn't your book say Daring Do is real? This changes everything! And why do you only write about her good side? Is she bribing you? On page 531, it says Daring Do kicks puppies. She does? What? No! Look, are any of you here for my actual book signing? Uh, no. no. Uh-uh. Frankly, I don't even know how you could call it fiction if it's all real. Uh, you're as much of a fake as Daring Do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess we're a little late to warn you about the new book, huh? <sighs> I always feared that someday every pony would learn Daring Do was real. But why? Aren't you proud of your adventures? Of course, but I'm not in it for the fame. The stories just seem too good to keep to myself. I wish I knew who this Martingale author was and why he's determined to ruin my character. And me! Maybe we can ask him. No way! He's doing a signing across the street? You'd better go without me. I can't risk the chance Martingale might recognize me as Daring Do. Oops, um, sorry. Uh, excuse us. <gasps> That's not Martingale. It's Dr. Caballero in disguise. Now it all makes sense. Daring Do's arch nemesis created a fake author self so he can write books that make him sound like a hero. Who does that? Uh, A.K. Yearling? This is totally different. Well, well, well. Up to your old tricks again, huh? Just like in Somnambula, spreading lies to make Daring Do look bad. Would you sign our book? 
I am just a simple author, telling it like it is. Uh, who should I make it out to? Fluttershy, with two T's. <gasps> we know who you really are! And unless you want us to tell all of them, you'd better answer some questions! I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. <laughs> no. But please, take a free copy of my book on your way out. Yeah! We aren't gonna let you get away with this cabalair on. Get away with what? I'm merely telling my side of the story. You mean lying? You think everything in A.K. Yearling's books are true? Yearling do in the Quetzal's Quest, she states that the fangthorn flowers are red. In fact, they are blue. It's true. They are. <laughs> that sounds like more of an editor's mistake. Still, if that is wrong, is it not possible that other bigger things are too? Take a look. It's in my book. But I don't have to take your word for it. Come on, Fluttershy. <gasps> From the sugar cube corner, look for your next clue. Red, delicious, sweet like you. Find it, you'll know what to do. <laughs> he should stick to bucking apples. Sugar Bell's gonna love it! I'll get the food. How long will it take you to place all the apples? Are you sure you put them in the right spots? Those terrible riddles on the apples were very clear on the location. I'm sure that they were placed properly. I, I, I think, maybe. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, fine. I'll double check. She didn't see the apple. What are we gonna do? Well, we could just give it to her. That's not romantic. She needs to discover it. Don't be such a drama dragon. I've precipitated liquid cocoa on Equestria and herded long-limbed Laporidae. I can certainly make a pony see an apple. <sighs> hey, Mrs. Cake. I need to pick up a few things. No, oh, I'm afraid you'll have to wait. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, is this sour cream or sweet cream? Oh, it's kind of important. Maybe I could take some of these off your hooves? No! Those are for something important, too. All of them? There's one, two, three, four... Twenty-one! And yes, all of them. Who needs twenty-one desserts? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Come by later. Later won't work. Why not? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Put the vanilla in the... Uh, it's did some pony else make these? No. Why? No reason. Thank you. These are perfect. You know, if she's too busy to read the horribly written clues, maybe you should just tell her. Listen up. Each of you has a job to do. Take a look at your stems. Well, tell me about it. But regardless, go to your designated location, deliver your messages, and make me proud. Dismissed! <sighs> I just have to say, Big Mac is really lucky to have me as a friend. Okay. One down, 20 to go. Then I can help you. Maybe I can help you. Delivering parchments is my thing. A little dragon breath and whoosh! We deliver each scroll into each dessert. Then you can help me. Watch! <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> Hurry, there's no need to sneak. The next apple is at the boutique. <laughs> Twilight's castle, take a right. The next apple sits in plain sight. What in the blazes is 
from the Sugar Cube Corner, look for your next clue. Red, delicious, sweet like you. Find it, you'll know what to do. <laughs> he should stick to bucking apples. Sugar Bell's gonna love it! I'll get the food. How long will it take you to place all the apples? Are you sure you put them in the right spots? Those terrible riddles on the apples were very clear on the location. I'm sure that they were placed properly. I, I, I think, maybe. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay, fine. I'll double check. She didn't see the apple. What are we gonna do? Well, we could just give it to her. That's not romantic. She needs to discover it. Don't be such a drama dragon. I've precipitated liquid cocoa on Equestria and herded long-limbed Leporidae. I can certainly make a pony see an apple. <sighs> Mrs. Cake, I need to pick up a few things. Oh, I'm afraid you'll have to wait. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, is this sour cream or sweet cream? Oh, it's kind of important. Maybe I could take some of these off your hooves? No! Those are for something important, too. All of them? There's one, two, three, four... Twenty-one! And yes, all of them. Who needs 21 desserts? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Come by later. Later won't work. Why not? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Put the vanilla in the Ugh! Did some pony else split these? No. Why? No reason. Thank you. These are perfect. You know, if she's too busy to read the horribly written clues, maybe you should just tell her. Listen up. Each of you has a job to do. Take a look at your stems. Well, tell me about it. But regardless, go to your designated location, deliver your messages, and make me proud. Dismissed! <sighs> I just have to say, Big Mac is really lucky to have me as a friend. Okay. One down, 20 to go. Then I can help you. Maybe I can help you. Delivering parchments is my thing. A little dragon breath and whoosh! We deliver each scroll into each dessert. Then you can help me. Watch! <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> Hurry, there's no need to sneak. The next apple is at the boutique. <laughs> Twilight's castle, take a right. The next apple sits in plain sight. <laughs> what in the blazes is going on? Oh. You're not still worried about ruling Equestria, are you? No, I know it took some time, but I've never been more ready for anything in my life. Just because I'm ready to sit on the throne in Canterlot doesn't mean I'm ready to leave Ponyville. When we were all fighting to save Equestria from T-Rex, Chrysalis, and Cozy Glow, I was too busy to think about it. But now it's all happening at once. What is? The coronation, moving, leaving our friends. I thought we'd all be ruling Equestria together. Of course we will, but it won't be the same. They all have lives here. We're moving away and they're not, and I can't help but feel like we're leaving them behind. What if we all just drift apart? I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. Maybe you should talk to them. I bet they're feeling the same way. You're right, Spike. Thanks. Sometimes talking to a good friend is all it takes. So, 
you're not worried about how things might change with me living in Canterlot? Of course not. Change is natural, like the seasons. That's just life on the farm. I guess so. Anywho, I really need to get all these boxes packed and sorted. There's a lot more work now that the folks beyond Equestria are coming to the coronation, too. Worried? <laughs> no way! Unless you're talking about the coronation, because then, yes. Obviously, the cakes are handled, but there's the whole rest of the party to stay on top of. Honestly, I'm not convinced Gummy really took care of the fireworks. But what about after the coronation? Don't you think things are going to be different? Well, since I'll be in charge of all the Canterlot Gallows from now on, I'll have to go there a lot more. So, I guess that's different, but I don't think I mind. No, of course not. Wonderful work, everyone. We couldn't be more ready. Josephine, if you and the rest of the doves leave now, we should all arrive in Canterlot at the same time. Eloise and Hubert, you should go too. I know it's a long way, but don't worry. I'll bring plenty of snacks to restore your energy before we perform. Everyone else gets to ride, since the trip's too much for your little wings. We need everyone in tip-top shape for the coronation. I'm glad we got the chance for one last rehearsal. Everyone's so excited. But I can't imagine any ponies more excited than you. Moving to Canterlot, being crowned. I can't think of a single bad thing about any of it. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. In three, two, one, and... Look, Rainbow Dash, I know this is important to you, and we all want the routine to be special, but are you sure it needs to be this complicated? Of course! And I know we can pull it off. Sorry, Twilight, I don't have time to talk. We've got a lot more work to do before the coronation. <sighs> Darling, change is an integral part of fashion. I myself am considering opening boutiques for non-ponies. Things must evolve, or they become stale. For example... I was just struck with a sudden inspiration to change my design for your gown by including the webs of these star spiders. They glow for a short while after they're spun. They won't have much time to weave the sash, but the effect will be dazzling. You see, darling, change can be fabulous if you embrace it. Starlight is supposed to come over soon. There's a little something we wanted to give you before we leave. You know what? I think you're right, Twilight. I should take my comics to Canterlot. We can't leave the power ponies behind. I don't think the power ponies care, Spike. Just like all of our friends. And now for your complete destruction! Won't that be fun? Patience, Cozy. Destruction is so permanent. We need to show the rest of Equestria that we've broken their heroes first. Besides, we should have fun with our guests. No! We should hunt down Twilight Sparkle. As long as she's out there, she's dangerous. Is that big, strong minotaur that scared of one little pony? Relax. It's not like her friends are going anywhere. The fools brought the remains of my throne to Canterlot to protect themselves. <laughs> Those shards block their magic. Careful. Too close and the shards cancel even our powers. But on this side of the cavern, we're the most powerful beings in Equestria. Thanks to Grogar's bell. Isn't that right, Grogar? What are you doing? You saw what happened when you tried to take Discord's chaos magic. Yeah, but there's Alicorn Princess magic in there now, too. I could be so much more powerful if I just could have... What do you mean, you could be? Um, hello? I'm the best one out of all of us. Nobody sees me. What are you talking about? The best at what? This is really bad. We gotta find Twilight. She's probably already figured out some way to defeat those monsters. Any idea how we get out of here to do that? Too sticky. There's no way any pony could get through this. I'm so sorry. It made so much sense in my head. Twilight defeats her worst enemies and is filled with confidence. I truly did have the best intentions. I swear I'll make it up to you. 
That's gonna need to be a pretty epic makeup. Stay away from the bell, you pest! None of us can use the Alicorn's magic until we figure out how to handle that fool's ridiculous chaos magic. I could always tell you how. It would give you power over all reality, but you'd have to ask nicely and spare my friends. No, Discord! This isn't the way to help! Discord, could you please? Threats are more my speed. Speak! He's lying. He won't tell us. I certainly won't tell you after the way you lied to me last time we teamed up, you muscle-bound cretin. This cretin could destroy you before you blink, so choose your words carefully. You're right. Cretin is too polite. How about pathetic centaur, who uses magic to compensate for the fact that deep down, he's afraid he'll never be enough to please dear old dad, King Vorak? <laughs> you missed! Did he, though? Get her! Get Twilight! No way! She's always needed you guys! Twilight. We may not have our magic, but we aren't completely helpless. We'll hold them off as long as we can. That was a pretty epic makeup. Just save Equestria and keep Fluttershy safe. 